Peace, peace. This is your host, Eli Shalom. And this is a Cosmon teachings in the words of Jehovah and his angel ambassadors from the Cosmon Bible of Waspi. And the topic of discussion today is called the new covenant of the Creator. Now, the earth has seasons and cycles. The earth travels through arc cycles of 3,000 year periods. And when the earth passes through these arc cycles, at the beginning points, is when the high raised angels called Etherian angels come down to the heavens belonging to the earth to inspire both mortals and angels belonging to the earth with new revelations, new inventions. Whatever is progressive, whatever is progressive for mortals at that time. As stated in the book of Jehovah, chapter 7, verse 2, where it states, verse 2, and Jehovah caused the earth and the family of the sun to travel in an orbit the circuit of which requires of them 4,700,000 years. And he placed in the line of the orbit at distances of 3,000 years Etherian lights, the which places, as the earth passes through, angels in the second heaven come into its corporeal presence, as ambassadors they come, in companies of hundreds and thousands and tens of thousands, and these are called the Etherian hosts of the Most High. So now, we are in a new arc cycle of a 3,000 year period. Starting from 1848, that marks the beginning point. So now, we are 166 years within this new arc cycle. This is why so much talk about the new dispensation, the new age, the new world order. All these go to show we are in a new cycle, and it's obvious. When was the last time mortals, on a global scale, have had cars, planes, satellites, space stations, cell phones, plasma TVs, scientists able to split atoms, dealing with nuclear energy, sending probes to space, to Mars, and Jupiter, and Saturn, on a global level? This has never been done before as far as recorded history is concerned. So now that we got that established, we are in a new cycle, a new age of a 3,000 year period. We are 166 years within this new age or this new cycle. Now here is the new covenant of the Creator, Jehovah, for us in this new arc cycle called the Ark of Cosmos, being the 25th arc cycle after the creation of mortals. Now, Book of East, Daughter of Jehovah, chapter 1, verse 1 through 11, it states, As in former cycles, I sent unto the nations separately. So in Cosmon, I shall not send separately, but unto the whole world. As in former cycles, I sent leaders and commander in gods. So in Cosmon, I shall not send either an earthly leader or a worshipful God or Lord. Verse 12. When man was in great darkness, I sent saviors and delivered unto him. And my saviors taught man by certain commandments and by prayers how he should live to be saved from sin. Verse 13. But in Cosmon, I shall send no savior no archangel, with a loud sounding trumpet, but I will come to man's understanding through the light of my own wisdom, and man shall interpret my words as I speak to his own soul, and such shall be his sacred words. So what this verse is saying is that there will be no saviors, no gods and no lords that will be worshipful in this time period. So the idea of a Jesus returning is not going to happen in this cycle. You will become the light and the truth in this cycle. Not depending on someone else to save you. And this is how many will be deceived because many are waiting on a Messiah, someone to save them. Verse 14. Man shall pray to me and speak to me in his own way, and not according to the dictatorship of any man. 
nor priest, nor sacred book, except the book of my creation. And the book of Jehovah's creation is the cosmos. Verse 15. Neither shall man accept any of the former revelations and bow down unto them. For as I was sufficient unto the ancients to speak to them things that were good for them, even so will I speak to my chosen of the Cosmon era, that which is good for them. Now, what are some of the former revelations? The biblical revelations, Quranic revelations, Nostradamus revelations, are all former revelations and will serve no place in this new cycle. Plus, the former revelations were speaking of the ending of an old cycle and the beginning of a new cycle. And with the coming of the ending of an old cycle, it's a lot of dispensation of warfare, bloodshed, as you see described in your revelations. Verse 16, My heaven shall be revealed unto them, as promised by my prophets of old. And man shall be taught how to see and comprehend my heavens with his own judgment and not according to what any other man saith my revelations are also. And this is where we are right now. The heavens have been revealed through science, and even a waspy revealing the system in order of the cosmos. Unlike the Bible and unlike the Quran. Now, Book of S, Daughter of Jehovah, Chapter 1, Verse 23, through 25 and verse 31 verse 23 it states in Cosmon which is the present time I shall not come to make a servant of men unto men nor to make him afraid when the priest speaketh I will make men hold up his head fiercely before men in remembrance of his daily covenant unto me his creator in the practice of righteousness verse 24 in that day the preacher and the priest shall be of little avail. My standard shall be of good works and not of words. Verse 25. Neither shall my hand be unto individuals only, but unto nations, kingdoms, and empires. Verse 31. When my dawn of a cycle cometh, I ever put away the ancient doctrines and the established gods and saviors. None have ever stayed my hand. Now, behold, man shall look about in the Cosmon era, present time, and see my footprints in the ancient times, how I ministered unto the races of men. And he shall apply with the judgment the history of other days. So this is a strong verse. The established gods of old will have no place in this new cycle. So the worship of El, Elohim, Osiris, Isis, Yahshua, Jesus, Muhammad. All these figures will have no place in this new arc cycle, the Ark of Cosmon. Now, Book of East, Daughter of Jehovah, chapter 2, verse 3 through 10, and verses 21, 28, and 29, verse 3. And other times my gods and goddesses said unto men, Those shall, and those shall not. Behold, in Cosmon, present time, ye shall declare the glory of my works and the plans of my heavens unto the nations of the earth. In all my fullness shall ye declare the glories of my creation, which we see through NASA and all the trajectories we see coming out the cosmos through the telescopes and the astronauts. <clears throat> Verse 4, But ye shall not say to this man or to that man, Though shall believe, nor that thou shall not believe. Verse 5. Neither shall you say to men, thou shalt do this, or thou shalt not do that. Verse 6. Such were the ancient cycles and the custom of my revelators. But such shall not be the custom of my revelators in this day. So here again, it's showing you the progression of mortals through the ages, becoming more and more independent and responsible as we progress, being less dependent on the Lord gods and saviors. Verse 8, because I hold man responsible, even so 
should he have liberty to choose? Verse 9. And if he strive to choose me by doing righteously, he shall not fail. Verse 10. Though he accept none of the ancient doctrines, nor rites, nor ceremonies, nor gods, nor lords, nor saviors, but strive for me in doing good unto others, he shall be my chosen, even though he accept not my name. Now how just can you get with that type of statement? And this is a heavy statement because you have a lot of people that do good things that are not religious, nor accept the doctrine of religions. But they are out doing good works. So they are still counted as one of the chosen of the Creator, although they may not accept the religious dogmas. Verse 21. In other cycles I set my Lewis, which are masters of generations. These are angels that are responsible for bringing about prophets, messiahs, apostles, to, to God. Again, my loot is to raise up certain mortals through whom I could reveal my commandments unto others. In Cosmon, behold, I shall not raise up any great leader forth. My light shall fall upon thousands and thousands of many varieties of talent shall be my chosen in that day. Verse 28. And from that time forth the old order shall decline to be put away forever. And the new order shall take its place to triumphant over all the earth. Verse 29. Therefore shall the virtue of preaching come to an end, but practice in fulfilling good works and living up to my commandments shall be all that will avail for the establishment of my kingdom on earth. And we see this taking place now. More and more people are becoming less religious and are becoming more free thinkers and more independent, breaking away from the religious dogma of old. And with that, I'd like to say peace and blessings. Shalom.